Hey everyone, I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome rear kitchen fifth wheel from Keystone. This is a 2021 Keystone Alpine 3910RK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is matt from matt's rv reviews towables it's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every towable rv that we review and again today i am super excited to be taking a look at a brand new floor plan from keystone the 3910 rk but before i begin i would like to say hi to will Howdy, Will! Hey, guys! How's it going? It's going good. So everybody knows Alliance is my favorite yes. fifth wheel. But before Alliance came out, and still a very close runner-up for me is the Alpine. Well, Will, you have not seen this floor plan I yet. Know. I think it might change your mind. All right, we'll see. Okay, anything else you want to say? <laughs> no, I mean, either way, Alpine is, is a great man, great um, manufacturer. Well, Keystone's a great manufacturer. But the Alpines are really, really great fifth wheels. Yep, so. yep. What I always like to say is, uh, uh, paradigms, alpines, or solitudes, you can never go wrong with any of them. Exactly. So let's begin. This one is model 3910RK. The actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this fifth wheel is, is 43 feet even. The dry weight is 13,560 pounds. And well, the tongue weight, 2,675 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, it's not necessarily about how much you can tow. It's about that hitch weight as well. Up front here, normally we will have a painted fiberglass front cap, but this unit we have optioned it with the full body paint. Right here, we do have these LED light strips right here. And this is your patented hitch vision there. So you can line up the hitch of your truck. Coming on down the side here. Again, look at this, Will. This is like that dark coat material. Very nice material, very nice, okay? Underneath here, very interesting. Um, it is not prepped for a generator, but Will still thinks it is. I'm not sure, it is good storage, but we will fact check to see if we can get a generator underneath. Coming down the side here, this is where your batteries would go. Six point hydraulic auto leveling, I love that, okay? Again, and this full body paint looks absolutely fantastic. Sure does. You got a little place for solar right there. Frameless windows throughout the whole fifth wheel. And then not one, but two power awnings with LED lights. And then check this out, Will. Oh, wow. I didn't know. You have a TV on the outside. Pretty cool. Little drawer. And this uh, is a little capital grill. Very Skillet cool. Cooktop. Very nice, I didn't even know it had that. And then right here, this is the pass-through storage. Very nice, I love the slam latch doors and I love how it's held up by a magnet. Right over here, we do have the Furion marker lights all throughout the side. And then here, we do have the Lipper component solid steps, hydraulic assisted, so it makes it very easy to get it in and out of the fifth wheel. And it does have the polar package, which means it has the heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. That's right. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the high specs. I love those. Oracles ST235-80R16. And you do have the Road Armor Lipper Component Suspension. Coming on down the side here, we do have another door that we will save for later. We will show you what's going on there. And then coming around the back, you do have a hitch rated for 3,000 pounds. You can tow behind you. We do not recommend you tow anything behind a fifth wheel. It is extremely dangerous. And right there, it is prepped for that Furion rear camera. Finishing up. Nice. 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. I love that. I love that. And then coming on down the side here. Instant hot tankless water heater. Right there is where you dump your black and gray tank right there. You got a place to store your stinky slinky right there. Here's the other side of that storage. I like how there's D-rings there. Oh 
man. And then this is your water hookup. And then here is where you put your propane. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks amazing. I love the full body paint. That's yes. what it looks like without the full body paint. Okay. The outside looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Take a look at the inside. Okay. All right, we'll start up front. You've got the closet all the way in the front. And you got the nice big front bathroom here. Bedroom right here. Then coming down, you got the half bath. Well, there's a bathroom and half. That's Rear right. Kitchen. Is that John? Nope. It's absolutely amazing. Mid living Give me a quick and rear kitchen. All right, well, let's get started with this middle living room area here. Okay. I mean, this is so nice. You got you got double sofas. Yeah. I, I, I automatically look down. You see no carpets in the slide house. Right. Very nice. It's very big. Very big it? and roomy, yeah. Very Great. big and roomy. You got your Jensen TV right here. Fireplace right there. No cabinetry. That is interesting that it's kind of built into it. Okay. Right. Have not seen that before, but look. This is a comfortable sofa. Trifold, that's gonna be a trifold as well, okay? I like the balances and I love the big windows. And then, Will, check this out. If I go over here. Okay. One, the slide outs are huge. They are. Nice daytime shades and privacy shades. That's awesome. I love that. And then, Will, yeah. stand in the slide out. Right that has to be one of the tallest slide outs really in the industry. Is. Yeah. It's awesome. Very, very nice. And then over here, you have your Thomas Paine collection. It is the theater seats that recline, and you're looking directly at the TV, and it looks so nice. This is a prime TV position, and everything. Very nice. That is weird. Is that prepped? That better be prepped for a third AC unit and not look up there. Yeah. It's got to be a third. Probably prepped for the third AC unit for sure. Does have the Max Air fan right there. Over here in the dinette, okay? Table and chairs. Again, tons of space. This Now, now the dinette, I'm not going to lie, it does look pretty tight. It does, yeah. I almost rather have had a smaller sofa mm -hmm. right there. You do have storage underneath the dinette, and the dinette does pull out to extend for a uh, better seating area. Actually, I probably wouldn't have even liked this. I would have liked the table right there with the two seats eating bar stool style. Yeah. You know, um, this just looks very tight. That person in the corner is not going to be comfortable at all. I do like the light fixtures, and I can't tell you guys enough how much I really like these big, huge windows. That's right. Well, Will, oh, actually, let's show everybody this half bath. Okay. And then this right here. Wow, has to be one of the biggest half bathrooms Definitely. I've ever seen. Prep for a stackable washer dryer. Very nice. Nice medicine cabinet. Great for all your medicines. Solid surface countertop for the sink. Then you got this right here. Also, look behind my feet. I saw that. Centralized vacuum right there. Yep. And then Will. Wow. That's awesome for a half bath. For a half bath. This... is a prime pooping position in a half bath. That's awesome. Very impressive. In a half bath, that gave you a oh, stackable washer right. dryer. That's fantastic. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. <clears throat> MSRP on this fifth wheel here with the full body paint is not bad at all. $103,622 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price, but will. Doesn't matter what sale price this was or will be, we will always be able to get people the best price in America on an Alpine. 
and we'll tell everybody how to do that. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this RV, click tab number two. That sends Will and myself an email, and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, not a problem, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. <laughs> Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, so one of the nice um, things about the rear kitchens is how you usually get a really nice big kitchen. Yes. And, you know, this one definitely fits that. So we'll start over here. we got some storage up top. Transparent doors, right? Yeah. Yeah, or um, kind of. Oh, kind of, yeah. No, not really, but kind of. Yeah. A nice convection microwave right there. Very nice. Storage right there as well. Yes, sir. And in this corner, you want to get it or you got it? Oh, we got it. Okay. You got some, oop, some plugs right here. Hang on a second. We can't see what's going on back there. Then get this window. Yep. You got the window right there. Very nice. Talk about countertops. Yeah. Nice solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. You got a good backsplash here. Three burner Furion cooktop there with the oven below. Ooh, Oops. Furion. And some drawers here. Very nice. Then over here in the sink area, you got a nice faucet. Let me open this. Yeah. Oh, we got one side right there. And the other bigger side right there. With Very your paint, nice. touch up kit. Yep. And, um, Oh, solid surface inserts as well, which is very nice. And a little bit of storage down below. Wow, very nice. Right behind me, you got a nice big pantry right there. Huge pantry. And, oh, let me open this. We'll only be able to get the one side open. Yep. Wine rack above. Nice fridge right here. Yep, very nice. And, and a freezer, freezer right down there. below. The, it's gonna be hard to get, yeah. yeah. And you do have the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system throughout. And again, I believe it's two air conditioning Yeah, units. I think, I can't imagine I mean, an Alpine. I've never seen an Alpine without two. Yeah. Uh, well, well, oh, let's go up. Nope, here, here we go. We're just go up to the bedroom. Okay. We've got front bathroom as well. Wow. Okay. Up front here, I love this big window. Yep. You have a place to sit down to tie your shoes. Jensen TV right here with five drawers. drawers right there. Big bathroom. Right over here in the bedroom area. Well, if you want to lay in that bed, okay. have that nice big headboard right there. That's right. Wow, very nice. Nice big king size bed here. Yep, yep. Very nice space. Big, big, tall enough, long enough. And is there storage underneath? I think so. Yep. Sure is. Wow, very nice. All right, well, it's now time for the shower test. Okay. I think, see if we'll, can, I think we'll be good on this one. Yep, see if you can fit in there. Wow. Yeah, nice big shower. Yep, actually I'm a little disappointed because I was just expecting huge. Yeah, it's not huge, but yep. it, yeah, it certainly passes. Yeah, for sure, it really does. And then over here, we do have a nice sink. We got a little Madison cabinet here and here. Double sinks. Double sinks. Solid surface countertops as well, which yeah. is nice. You got that little bit of storage underneath there. And probably, yep, the same underneath there. And then look at that huge closet. Very nice big closet. Wow. And then right here, you have a little storage right there. Hmm. Close, actually, huh? Yeah, for the first time in history, the half bath has got better. a better prime pooping position than the full bath. Yeah. I'm actually disappointed in this. So am I. With how big this bathroom is, mm -hmm. I don't know. They, they, they done messed up gravy. They sure did. Um, I mean, it gets a prime pooping position. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, but... 
it's not that's just kind of weird bro sure is and as weird as it is and as nice as it is well it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike will what do we do first three things we love yes okay okay uh do you want to go first or me I can go, go first. first. Oh, okay. I mean, I said you, you. Oh, okay. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First and foremost, I love how big this living room area is. Yep. You do not see this. This is so nice. And I love how they did not give you carpet on the slide outs. That is absolutely fantastic. It sure is. This is a very, very nice middle living room area and it's fantabulous. Yep. That is one. Number two. So it's kind of common with rear kitchens. But I'm gonna have to say the kitchen in the back. Yep. It's just you know I feel like that's one of the big things that makes these floor plans so great. Just tons of counter room space, tons of pantry space, nice big fridge. I mean everything about it is yep. great. Absolutely. And I do want to say the full body paint on the outside, but we're not. Right. We have to give it to the half bath. Absolutely. This is the best half bath in Mass RV Reviews history. And again, it's not the best bathroom in history. It is, but it is by far the best half bath in Matt's RV Reviews exactly. history. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Um, we'll save the outside for last, I of think. Of course, of course. Don't be silly. I can give you one. Okay. Uh, this dinette area is very tight. Mm -hmm. I do not like it at all. I do not like how these are bulging out because this is going to make it even more tighter. This is a small dinette. I don't like this dinette. Again, I would have rather seen just like the two-seater right there kind of bar style. Yep. You know, that would have been a really nice touch for this fifth wheel. Right. That is number one. Do you have a number two? Yeah. I'll say the bathroom upstairs. Okay. For as big as this fifth wheel is. And for as big as that bathroom is. Yeah. It just doesn't seem like they use the space quite as good as they could have. It's almost like they're like, oh, it's big enough, so it doesn't matter how we right. structure it. You right. Know what I'm exactly. Saying? Uh, yeah, and that shower, just compared to... Again, it passes. It, right. It gets the job done, but right. it's just not great. It's not fantastic. It's not fantastic. Right. So I must concur. That is two. And three, we concur. Yes. Okay, well, so... We had a little discussion before. Yes. The show. Why is it that we had the slide out or the stairs in the whole time? So the issue is, let's go put the stairs out. Yeah. So open up the door. Yep. All the way. Oh. Put the stairs out. Uh-oh. Oh, so we can't we can't put the stairs out unless the door is all the way open. We can't it, get the door all the way open unless the slide is in. Yep, and who wants to do all that? Right, just to get in and, you know. What they should have done is they should, believe it or not, hang on, we love these steps. Right. But it should have been. This the, is one of those should cases. Have, should have been that steps that come yeah. out this way because yeah again that's silly that was an overlook and uh what are you gonna do that's right you know so that's it well but overall honestly overall all you got to do is put the steps down before you put the slide outs out that's right, right. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call, text, send us an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a fifth wheel, you're going to see uh, a Grand Design Solitude and Alliance Paradigm right here because again, uh, Alpine Paradigm or Solitude, you're getting a great unit. You know what I'm saying? And we think you should look at all of them. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Of course. Talk to us. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like Matt said, this really is, you know, despite this great floor plan, and, you know, it's definitely, a, you know, something you can work around anyways. Yep. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. Tell us if you agree or disagree yep. about the steps. Uh, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.